Ooh, you know what I like? I like The Lament. Very, very beautiful and lovely. The Lament by the Quackian poet, John. Take it away, y'all. Oh, hey, uh, hey, everybody. It's, uh, it's, it's me, Brick Rivers, uh, the drummer for Knuckle Sandwich, and uh, <laughs> you know, they're, they're still not letting us tour, so... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna host this here uh, poetry night here uh, at Unscrew Theater because, uh, well, you know it's a, it's a it's a rough time for an outdoor drummer right now, and so everybody put your mask on so you can come see Knuckle Sandwich Day for our next album, uh, Mint Ice Cream, because it's gonna be great, you guys. But in the meantime, I've got this uh, this great poet here, and you know with all this downtime, I went and I got that Duolingo thingy on my phone, and I learned this brand new language called Quoken, and uh, yeah. Uh, we got this Quokin poet here. He's going to say his epic poem is called, uh, and don't worry, I'm going to translate. It's going to be fine. Uh, but it's called uh, The Lament. So uh, let's hear that great poem. It's going to be awesome. He, he wants to make sure he gets to fe uh, get fed after the show. <laughs> Oh man, I, I never thought I'd meet anybody quite as beautiful as her, but she wouldn't even look at me, and it was a real bummer. Yeah, so I thought, you know, maybe what I could do is, like, change my appearance and cut my hair and stuff and offer her gifts and everything. Maybe she'd finally, you know, like, notice me. <laughs> I love the apple. I love the apple. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, it turns out she was more into this guy named Rodolfo. <laughs> he was suave. <laughs> <laughs> so I hatched this plot kind of like the Lion King where I was going to push him off a cliff. <laughs> uh, while I was trying to formulate my plan, all of a sudden this sort of imaginary conscious-like creature came to me in the middle of the night and said, dude, don't do that. <laughs> so I figured uh, maybe maybe what I should do is ask the trolls for help. <laughs> <laughs> All they did was give me mushrooms, so I didn't get it. <laughs> Turns out they were the wrong kind of mushrooms. Yeah. Okay. So I sort of didn't care about finding the girl anymore. Everything's cool. Uh, the end. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming to our poetry night, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, the Poet John and Trusty Interpreter Cy, or Brick. <laughs>